Hello, Ishtaki. How are you? Good, thank you. Hello, good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Ishtaki. Welcome to the Lodging, Den Lodging Dental webinar. I'm Fiona, the cell manager at Lodging Dental. Lodging is a renowned manufacturer of endodontic instruments based in China, specialized in the products of endodontic files and device for over 10 years. Lodging endodontic instruments are approved by FDA CE. Cell law 197. Furthermore, our, product, our production quality system has received certification under ISO 13 for its file standards. Lodging has top RD and strong, and strong production ability, so we can provide 1% quality, quality guarantee for all our customers' orders. Today, we are privileged to have Dr. Hidotaki Ishitaki with us today, a distinguished dental professional, Dr. Ishitaki holds a doctor of dental surgery and a doctor of physiology. He currently serves as visiting faculty at the next university departments of pre and endodontology and practice as teaching dental clinic in addition to his impressive academic roles. Dr. Ishtaki is an active member of Eastern Dental Societies, including the Japan Society of Conservative Dent Dentistry, Japan Endodontic As Association, and others. His ex expertise has earned him presti prestigious awards, including the one first runner up Award at the First Asian Regional Congress of Dental Traumatology in 2023. His expertise has earned his recognition as the international endodontic speaker in Japan. Now I would like to hand over the floor to Dr. Ishizaki. 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 The host is yours. <clears throat> um, wait. Uh. Oh. Thank you for your thought. You. Uh, sorry, wait. Okay, let's start. Can I start? Yeah. Okay, thank you for your introduce and uh, thank you for your attendance to my webinar this tonight in this tonight. And uh, thank you for your support and the cooperation, Rosin Dental. Thank you, really, thank you very much. And uh, now uh, I my name is Hidetaka Ishizaki and uh, I'm from Japan. Now here is uh, about 20 o'clock in evening um, on Friday, Friday evening. And where are you from? Maybe what time is it in your place? Maybe in night, in the night or in evening or in the morning? I don't know, but thank you, really thank you very much for your attendance to my uh, presentation webinar. Uh, this night. I share my uh, presentation. And today, uh, today's webinar is a lodging educational program. And the tema is how to do patency. Today's tema is patency. Today, I'd like to talk about patency, especially calcified canal and the curved canal. 
if you have a dilemma about uh, patency, uh, I'd like to talk and I'd like to give you some tip for the patency, especially calcified canal and the uh, carved canal. Uh, so I started and calcified canal and carved canal is uh, we have to treat these cases in daily practice. Uh, this calcified canal, medial canal is always, uh, we cannot see on the X-ray and uh, this route is also, uh, we can see the distal root canal, but we cannot see the palatal canal and the medial canal. We can see the medial canal all of it, but uh, really narrow canal. And curved canal is also challenging cases like this, and like this curved canal or these curved, this uh, curved canal like this. These cases is always challenging cases, but sometimes we have to treat these cases. So at first we have to find the canal orifice and uh, we have to measure the working length, root canal length, and we prepare, then we prepare the root canal. So the problem of calcified root canal is difficult to find the canal orifice. And to find the canal orifice, uh, there is a risk of overcutting. And this overcutting is lead to two, stru uh, two structure and some failures. Some failure is, uh, for example, perforation or file fracture or ledge formation or tooth uh, root canal transportation. This uh, calcified root canal treatment of calcified root canal or curved root canal has this uh, risk and failure. Uh, so uh, how can I find the calcified root canal orifice? Some tips is a preoperative X-ray radiograph, of course. We should check, we have to check the preoperative x-ray uh, before the treatment and the magnification and illumination is really helpful for uh, us to find the canal orifice and color of the chamber floor and uh, bubble NaOC natrium hypochlorite. And sometimes 1% uh, of methylene blue, methylene blue indicates the canal orifice and intraoral X-ray from different angles, also uh, also odontic uh, projection on the eccentric projection, different angles projection, and uh, preoperative or intraoperative CBCT. These uh, these points helps for us to find the canal orifice of the calcified root canal. And this case is, is referred from, uh, this patient it was referred from my junior and uh, uh, a point of remove the old field materials. At first, before the, treat, before the treatment and before the root canal orifice uh, enlargement or root canal preparation, at first remove the old field materials, cement or resin or metal, and this patient was referred from my junior and my junior said he couldn't find the canal orifice and he looking for, uh, looked for the canal orifice around here or here. Here is a white point and here is also a white point. This is a distal root canal. This is a distal root canal and this is a mirror view. Uh, I checked the uh, intraoral X-ray and here is the white materials. This is a flower resin, flower resin wall, uh, this wall. And uh, at first, before the root can, uh, before the finding and before the search of the root canal orifice, I cut this medial root, medial wall, medial uh, resin wall. And then I found the white point under the a medial resin wall. And then uh, next, uh, I found the root canal orifice here. In this case, medial root canal orifice was covered with 
uh, this um, vulnerable composite resin temporary wall. Therefore, before the treatment, we should remove the uh, cement or resin or metal or filling materials. We should remove and uh, such the uh, loose canal orifice. And uh, this here is a uh, previous dentist, my junior, uh, cuts this area. Therefore, I filled this area, I filled a flowable resin and I reinforced the tooth structure. And the color. A resin will be white color under the, uh, under the dry condition. This is wet condition and this is dry condition. Usually, we treat the tooth under the wet condition. Wet condition, uh, resin will be dark color and dentin also will be dark color. But under the dry condition, resin will be white color like this. Here is a resin and here is a resin and here is a resin. Therefore, uh, root canal finding the root canal orifice, uh, uh, I use a uh, air spray and uh, dry condition, I uh, under the dry condition, and I cut the flow resin material safety. And dentin is dark color under the wet condition, like this, and dentin is a light color under the dry condition. Therefore, uh, usually we treat the tooth under the wet condition, but uh, for remove the composite rubber resin or composite resin, sometimes I use uh, air spray, three-way air spray, and uh, I cut the rubber resin. After that, uh, I sometimes I can find the root canal orifice. This is a good uh, technique and the materials findings. And microscope. Of course, a uh, microscope is really helpful for finding the root canal orifice, calcified root canal orifice. Calcified root canal in elderly people have been detected using the operating <coughs> microscope. And full working lens could be established in 90% of these cases. So uh, operating microscope is uh, really helpful for us. And CBCT. This is uh, AA and aroma joint, posi uh, joint position statement. And the uh, recommendation four is intra uh, oral uh, operative uh, CVCT. If a preoperative CVCT has not been taken, a limited FOV CVCT should be considered as the imaging modality of choice for interappointment, uh, in, uh, intermediate treatment, identification and localization of calcified root canals, calcified root canal orifice. This is a case report, and this doctor uh, couldn't find the root canal orifice. This root canal is really calcified, and he put the gut patch uh, here and took the CBCT. So uh, CBCT coronal plane, this is coronal plane, uh, this gut patch point is here, and the root canal orifice is a little bit another direction, another side here. And therefore, uh, this information uh, helpful for the finding the root canal orifice. After that, uh, this also find the root canal orifice and uh, negotiation and prepare the root canal and the treatment. CBCT is also helpful for the uh, root, uh, finding the root canal orifice. Calcified canal and curved canal is really difficult to find the canal orifice and also patency, not only uh, finding the root canal orifice, but also patency is difficult. It is really a problem and challenging cases. And this is general information and general rule of the root canal preparation procedure with nighttime files. At first, clinical examination and access cavity and straight line access. A patency and walking length measurement and glide pass after that root canal preparation with night eye files. Uh, oral examination, we check the caries and restoration and location where the caries, where the restoration and the gingival swelling or sinus tract, percussion or palpation and probing depth, uh, probing depth and location of the probing depth. 
and pulp sensibility test called test or electric pulp test and one test before the root canal treatment. Uh, we check these points. And intraoral X-ray examination, uh, size and location of the pulp chamber and uh, root canal morphology, uh, root canal uh, location and root canal number, uh, how many root canal and root canal length or curvature or calcification. We check these points from the intraoral X-ray. And uh, also accident, fractured file, there is a fractured file or a perforation or transportation or a ledge formation and the periapital region or a radicular region and sinus uh, and maxillary sinus. These points should be checked from the intraoral X-ray before the treatment. And if necessary, uh, I take the CBCT. This is uh, calcified root canal. And this patient was referred from previous dentist and he couldn't uh, find the root canal and he couldn't uh, patency until the apex. This is, I think this is size 15 file and he, uh, he could insert this file until middle side of the canal, but uh, he couldn't insert the file shall fire until the apex, but it is really calcified canal. Uh, it is uh, also right. This is calcified root canal, but not only calcified root canal, this is a separate root canal. Two root canal, it is not one root canal. This uh, changing the shading of the root canal line on the X-ray, it indicates, this indicates a canal bifurcation and the confluence or curvature. Therefore, size 15 is a little bit big file for this root canal. I inserted this file with size 10 file. And straight line access. Straight line access is called the standard and uh, uh, really necessary treatment uh, step. And uh, a gate spirit and drill or office opener. Uh, these bar are uh, used for straight line access. Uh, this root canal is C-shaped, but uh, this file has a stress around here, also around here, here. Therefore, we should uh, modify, the root, uh, modify the root canal orifice and uh, insert the uh, file and uh, come the straight, and it is shaped shape. Before the root canal length measurement, straight line access is necessary. And the straight line access should be prepared to outside, buccal side and palatal side, buccal side and medial side, and the palatal side or distal side. Of course, we know straight line access is really important, but sometimes we cannot do the straight line access and we cannot achieve the straight line access. For example, uh, mandibular molar distolingual root called radix centumoralis. Radix centumoralis has a typish curvature like this. At first, radix centumoralis go to the lingual side and then curve to the buccal side, uh, like this also. Also, this radix centumoralis is also. Therefore, if uh, I do the straight line access, maybe this G shape. Uh, I modified and if I do this root canal J shape, uh, I think maybe here there is a uh, here happened the perforation. Therefore, sometimes we have to treat and we have to do patency these uh, C shape and these uh, original root uh, root shape, original curved shape. We cannot do uh, straight line access. We should uh, have a technique and we should have a, a knowledge for the patency and uh, for the, this curved canal. And the patency, patency is uh, an instrument can easily reach the working length with a ISO 10K file and shaping file or a glide pass file can be used immediately after the root canal negotiation. I use Size 10 is a 10k file for the patency. And then a uh, glide path. What is the glide path? 
The endodontic glide path is a smooth radicular tunnel from root canal orifice to terminus. Its minimum size should be a super loose ISO 10K file, number 10 endodontic file. It is, uh, some endodontist says this is the uh, 10 rule. ISO 10K files it will be a super loose. And why the glide path is needed, there is a root canal preparation. Complication happens, uh, such as the taper rope or instrument fracture or shaving ablations. These complications can be prevented by the creating a glide path. Glide path uh, should be down, the, down by the 15 file or uh, normally glide path uh, is done the 15 file. This is a short video about the mechanical glide pass. This is a tape uh, This size is uh, size 15, and uh, this is a variable tape. This is a plastic block, S shaped block. If I do the glide pass with a hand file, hand cap file size 15, it is not easy to reach. Uh, until the apex, but mechanical glide pass and this glide pass file is easy to reach the apex and good shaping until the apex. After that, this root canal is prepared with night eye files. And also, this is a short video about the R shaper. R shaper is a night eye file from Rosin Dental. And now I use this uh, R shaper files. This is uh, extracted mora. This is the size is a 10k file. And this is a part of the root canal. <clears throat> and after negotiation and after working language measurement. In this time, after that, I use the orifice opener and I enlargement the root canal orifice. Of course, before the patency and before the working length measurement, sometimes should uh, should do the orifice opener and the enlargement the coronal side, coronal side of the root canal, and then right the pass file. This is ISO uh, size fifteen and O two taper. This is R shaper file. After that, size 20 and O4 taper. This R shaper file is really flexible file and good cutting efficacy. I love it, this file. Size 25 and O4. This is single lengths. And this is size 30 O4 taper file. And finally, I use size 25 or 6 paper. But sometimes uh, I finish the root canal preparation with size uh, 30 or 4 paper file. After pre this is after preparation. And this is before preparation. And this is a short uh, pause. And uh, I attended the European Society of uh, Congress of European Society of Endodontology uh, 2023. This is uh, first week or second week on the September in this month. It is uh, in Helsinki. European Society of Biennial Congress was held in Helsinki. And this is a lecture from Dr. He is a Dr. Antonis from Athena, from uh, Griechenland. And in my opinion, uh, one of the theme of this uh, lecture or symposium, uh, one of the theme is a uh, calcified root canal or a curved canal. How to do, how to manage the calcified canal and the curved canal and how to manage the ledge formation, ledge. This is one of the theme of, uh, of this conference. In, in this, it is in my opinion. 
And this is a workshop from Densply Shirona. I, I attended the workshop in this workshop. And this is a new motor from Densply Shirona, XMAT Plus, uh, Pro Plus. And we use the uh, ProTaper Ultimate, and we use the uh, uh, ProTaper Ultimate and XMAT uh, Pro Plus, and the plastic training block. This is a symposium, and he is a professor, uh, Gabriel Kraus from Germany, and he lectured and he talked about uh, injuries to treatment of injuries to, he is a professional of injury, treatment of injuries to. And this is the exhibition hall. Uh, ESV conference was held in, also in last year. Usually, this is a biennial congress, but uh, in this time, uh, in this year, was held in congress in Helsinki, and uh, many exhibitors came to this congress, and of course, many participants and dentists came to this congress. And this is Gardena, uh, Gardena Night, and uh, we can see and we can say hello to my uh, our friend and new friend and new doctor. It's me and this is Professor Paul Abbott from Australia and this is uh, Professor uh, Simon Friedman from Toronto. And next time, next time ESE Congress will be held in Paris in 2025 September. Maybe uh, some participant in this time some. Uh, maybe you will come to this Congress and we can meet uh, in this Congress. And r shape file, I introduce, I want to introduce this file about this file. r shape file is a variable table design file. And this is a heat activation file and this file uh, metal is a CM wire. And this is orifice opener and five file set. This is orifice uh, glide pass file and 20 size, 25, 25, and 35 uh, size. And this is, the last one is 25. And this is a short video of the r shape file. This is glide pass file size 15. It is, we can give a pre-bend and Curvature. This is a uh, this is a size twenty five or four taper file. We can make a pre curve and it is easy to insert the mesial root canal of the mora. And this is a size twenty five or six taper. Also, O six taper we can bend and and this is a hot water so into the hot water this fire returns the original form it is also This file is CM wire file, and we can make a prevent and in the hot water return to the original form. And this is a size 25 and all six step of five, last five, last one five. It is really flexible and we can prevent. And in the hot water, file re uh, return the original form. Now I use this file about five times or six times, but uh, I think in my opinion, if in the hot water, this file cannot return the original shape. We should change the file. We, we should use the new file. And this file uh, rotation speed is 315 uh, RPM and torque is 2. 
and working length this file is single length technique for the single length technique uh, i use single length and the cross section is like this triangle section and this one is orifice opener uh, length is 70 and taper 10 uh, 10 taper at tip is 0 0.2 millimeter and this one is a uh, Tip with size 50, 0, 0.50, 0, 0.15, and the taper is this is variable taper. And this is shaping file, yellow and red, and size 20, size 25, size 30. This is O4 taper file, and last one, only last one is size O6 taper. Single length, this file is uh, as a use as a single length techniques. This technique is simple operation and starts the smallest number of the instrument. At first, we use the 15, size 15, and size 20, size 25, and size 30. Each instrument was prepared to the root canal length, same length. We use these files for the same length and the rotary more, uh, rotation, rotary, uh, rotary file. The sequence of this r shaper files from Rosin Dental. Uh, this sequence says at first access cavity and orifice opener, uh, orifice opener, and then glide pass. Glide pass is yeah, ISO 10K file or ISO 15, uh, and then uh, root canal shaping. Uh, in this sequence, size 20, 04, and 25, 06, size 30 or 4, but actually I use this file at first, uh, this grade pass file, and then size 20 at 04, and 25 or 04, and 30 or 04, and I use this file as the last one file, last one, but it is, it uh, depends on the cases, and sometimes I finish the uh, I finish prepare the root canal until this file. Sometimes I don't use this one uh, or six taper. Uh, I use the on, I use only the O4 taper. And objective the root canal preparation keeps the position of the apical foramen and the smaller the apical stenosis the better and keeps the original anatomy of the root canal respects the root canal morphology, root canal anatomy, and adequate root canal preparation and continuous taper structure. So uh, I'd like to talk about the patency, how to do patency. This is before the root canal preparation. Uh, ISO 10K file or patency file, we use the ISO 10K file or patency file for the uh, patency and root canal length measurement. If uh, we can insert the these file until the apex. It is no problem. But if uh, it's a take file, no, uh, we should consider and we should check uh, why we cannot the uh, patency and we cannot insert the file until the apex. Uh, why the reason a uh, calcified root canal or a root canal curvature or apical ramification? It is. Uh, for the initial treatment, I'd like to talk about the initial treatment. The treatments, gut aperture or resin or cement, there is uh, some material in the root canal. Therefore, we should remove these materials before the root canal preparation and the patency. Uh, this, for example, uh, this case. This case is uh, mandibular premolar, and this this has a root to root canal, buccal root canal and lingual root canal. And lingual root canal is really narrow root canal. It's an 8K file couldn't insert on the, the uh, lingual root canal. So how should we do and how should I do for the, this canal? How to deal with the narrow canal like this? At first, enlargement the root canal orifice. Enlargement the coronal side of the canal and use the thin file. Uh, it's, for example, it's 8 or it's 6 file and use the rubricant. And this file, uh, this for this tooth, this root canal, how to handle this canal for the patency? Uh, we check some points. Uh, at first, buccal root canal. Buccal root canal is uh, root canal, this orifice, root canal orifice is wide open, but the direction to the apex is different. Uh, the direction of the 
uh, orifice and the coronal side is this direction, but uh, from the middle side to the apical side is direction is another direction. Below the orifice, below the orifice from here, straight root canal. This is a straight root canal until the apex. This is a different direction. And thicker than lingual root canal. And lingual root canal. Canal orifice is narrow root canal orifice. And entire the root canal is narrow. And go to the apex with gentle curvature, a little bit curvature, and entire the root canal is narrow root canal. Thinner, uh, narrow root canal than buccal root canal. So strategy of these canals is a uh, buccal root canal is filed with restricted by the uh, orifice denting here. Therefore, we should cut the denting and changing the direction. Then file can go to the apex. It means straight line access. We should cut this area. Enlargement and orifice and coronal side. It means uh, straight line access. But lingual canal is a little bit different. Lingual canal, canal is entire than narrow, but relatively straight uh, until the middle side, uh, until the here, a little bit straight. Therefore, if we cut this coronal side, it, is, doesn't, uh, it doesn't change the direction of the root canal. And the root canal is thin until the apex, uh, until here, and it is really difficult to enlargement and cut this area, we have to remove more to structure pre, uh, pre perisarbical dentin. Therefore, in this case, uh, using the lubricant or a thin file, step-by-step -step preparation from coronal to uh, apex, it is a different strategy. In this Case in this linear root canal, I use ISO 6 file and ISO 8 file, two size file. This is ISO 6 file, this is ISO 6 file. And uh, ISO 6 file, I used ISO 8 file until this point. And then after that, I used to, is one more ISO 6 file. And I can insert a little bit longer than before. And after that, I use ISO 8 file until this point. And after that, I use one more ISO 6 file. And repeat, repeat, repeat. Patency. Patency ISO 6 file. Uh, root canal length is 20 and working length is uh, minus minus 0, uh, 0,5 millimeter. These two uh, size file technique I use. And if ISO 10K file can't reach the apex, uh, there is a two reasons, I think. One reason is restriction of the coronal orifice, restriction of the orifice. And another reason is the calcified root canal or curvature of the root canal. At first, the solve the, this reason, restriction of the canal orifice, uh, using the orifice opener, straight line, uh, the enlargement of the coronal side and enlargement of the orifice. And after that, one more ISO 10K file. And if uh, I can patency and I can insert this file until the apex, I can measure, uh, I measure the working length. But if I cannot insert the uh, ISO 10K file until the apex, one more, one or two, I consider one or two, uh, one more, using the orifice opener and enlargement the coronal side and enlargement the root canal orifice, or uh, two. Two is calcified or curvature of the root canal. Therefore, uh, in these cases, I use ISO 8 file. ISO 8 file, if ISO 8 file can reach a uh, word and more than ISO 10K file, for example, I can insert the ISO 10K file about 15 millimeter, and after that, if I insert the ISO 8K file plus two millimeter or plus three millimeter of the, uh, from the ISO 10K file, so uh, one more ISO 10K file and ISO 8 file, repeat, 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 like previous premolar, 
and working length measurement. But if I cannot insert the ISO 8 file a little bit longer than ISO 10K file, it is difficult to patency. So CV, uh, I check that I consider uh, if I take a CVCT or if I should do a surgery, it is uh, difficult to do patency. I call this technique two uh, different size uh, file technique. I call the ATEN technique. This is calcified or curved root canal. This technique is patency with ISO, 10, uh, ISO 8 file and ISO 10K file. Insert the ISO 8 file as can as possible and measure the length. After that, insert the ISO 10K file same to same length uh, this, of this ISO 8 file. And then one more insert the ISO 8 file as can as possible and measure the working length. Uh, maybe we can insert this 8 file plus one millimeter or plus two millimeter from uh, this working lengths. And after that, one more insert ISO 10K file to the same length of this ISO 8 file. And then one more ISO 8 file and 10K file, 8K file, and repeat, 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 then a patency. After the patency, working length measurement and glide pass and root canal preparation. And it is important, uh, check the debris of ISO 10K file. ISO 10K file cuts the dentin wall, therefore ISO 8 file can go to uh, a little bit longer than before. So if there is no debris uh, of ISO 10K file, this technique doesn't work. And if uh, ISO 8K file can't go more than ISO 10K file, uh, also, this technique doesn't work. Maybe there is a ledge formation or uh, there is uh, uh, some problems. And uh, in, this, uh, in these cases, insert the file into the root canal and check the X-ray. And if uh, ISO 8 O2 taper uh, working length equal uh, ISO 10 O2 taper working length minus uh, minus one millimeter, therefore, uh, if I insert the size six, six, size six K file is really narrow file. But if I insert the size six K file, I can insert the size eight file easily. And then I can insert the ISO 10 K file uh, until the apex. Strategy of calcified root canal, root canal from uh, uh, root canal form from intraoral X-ray. Check the intraoral X-ray. Condition of the root canal orifice and direction of the root canal and select the file. The reason uh, why the file doesn't reach the apex. We should check the X-ray and form the root canal. This case, I prepared buccal root canal until uh, size 25 or 8 taper and linear root canal. I prepare size 20 or 7 taper. And this is after preparation and confit and after obturation. This is daily practice and daily training. And one more, uh, one point. This is much study more about this uh, buccal root canal. Uh, I'd like to say, talk to, I'd like to talk about the coronal preferring with uh, mechanical. A glide path using the mechanical glide path file. This maxillary mora, uh, this is mesial buccal root canal, and this is this buccal root canal. This is mesial buccal root canal, and here is a distal buccal uh, DV root canal, but it is very uh, narrow and small root canal orifice. And I can insert this point, but uh, Maybe two millimeter or only three millimeter. I can I couldn't insert anymore. So in this case, of course, straight line access is one point, but uh, root canal orifice is really narrow. And if I do the straight line access, uh, there is a risk of overcutting and perforation over ledge formation. Therefore, in these cases, I use the glide pass file for the coronal flare flaring. 
I use glide pass file until a little bit three millimeter or two millimeter, uh, three millimeter or four millimeter from the root canal orifice. Uh, I, I don't use the glide pass file, not uh, entire the root canal. I don't use the entire the root canal. Only coronal sad or uh, three millimeter or four millimeter. And after that, I can insert the ISO 8 file until uh, 40 millimeter, a little bit longer than before. And then I use ISO 10K file or ISO 8 file. It is like previous case. A little bit longer, a little bit longer, and patency ISO 8 file root canal length is 70 millimeter. And this is patency for uh, root canal. MB root canal is 70,5 millimeter. This is working length. This is a uh, root canal length. And the part of the root canal is 90 millimeter. Working length is 80,5 millimeter. DB root canal is 70 millimeter and working length is 60,5 millimeter. A coronal preflaring with glide pass file at first. And after that, ISO 8 file go to the until uh, 40 millimeter. And before that, uh, I know root canal length of MB root canal. MB root canal is about 70 millimeter. Therefore, I can guess the length of DB root canal. Mm -hmm. And after uh, that, uh, therefore, uh, after the coronal preflaring, I should try only three millimeter up with a 10 technique, only three millimeter. And after patency, glide pass file is used uh, until the apex. And after that, root canal preparation with nitrate files. Good patency, uh, of course, we know good patency, good root canal preparation, and good root canal obturation. It leads to good outcome. But uh, sometimes, good uh, patency is not easy. Procedure of the root canal preparation, access cavity and patency and glide pass. And then root canal preparation. Of course, we know it is general rule. And this is a clinical case of the mandibular rights pass moral. This patient has a, a this fast, a fast moral has a big composite resin, but this composite resin was broken. And this patient has a spontaneous pain and percussion, and uh, he came to my clinic. And I remove the uh, I remove the field resin, and uh, I use uh, uh, I I did the root canal root canal treatment, and I use the. Uh, at first, I use the orifice opener for remove the pulp of the coronal sad and enlargement of the coronal sad of the root canal. Remove the pulp tissue and enlargement of the root canal orifice. This is this is our shape of fire. And irrigation, and this after root canal length measurement, glide pass file was used. This is ling a mesolingual root canal, and one more glide pass file size uh, fifteen. This is root canal preparation. I use these glide pass files until the working length. And next, I use size 2004 taper file until the working length. This is single length technique and irrigation. <clears throat> and this is size 2504 taper file, same length. And then uh, size 30, this is also O4 taper.
Next, uh, M MB medio buccal root canal. I can prevent the, this glide pass file, therefore it is easy to insert the medial root canal. After that, I use a size 20 04 taper file. It is same the uh, medial lingual root canal and irrigation. During the root canal preparation, I irrigate, irrigate, irrigate. This is size 2504 taper. It is simple sequence. And irrigation, irrigation, irrigation. After that, this tooth has a MM, uh, MM canal, medial, uh, middle medial root canal. Sometimes mandibular molar has a medial, uh, middle medial root canal, but it is, it is not easy to insert the a hand file into MM root canal. Therefore, at first, I, I use the glide pass file for the coronary peripheral and I enlargement the root canal orifice. Orifice opener is a little bit big file for a small root canal orifice. Therefore, glide pass file is useful for the enlargement of the a narrow canal like this. After that, I use hand file into the MM root canal. Here is a MM canal. And working length measurement. I measure the working length and same length. This is glide pass file. And at this point, I used this glide, uh, glide pass files for the uh, full walking rings until the apex. And I prepared this MM canal with ISO 15 file, this file, and uh, Until ISO, until size, size 20. I used, I prepared MM canal until this uh, file. Size 20, I finished. <clears throat> this is a sonic activation device from Rosin Dental. And after preparation. Danger zone, uh, this uh, mandibular molar has medial root has a danger zone. Here is a concave form. Therefore, uh, for example, buccal root, uh, uh, medial buccal root canal and medial lingual root canal, we can use uh, size 25 or six taper, for example, or six taper. But for the um, MM root canal, size O6 taper is a little bit long and there is a risk of the uh, stripping perforation. Therefore, for MM canal, I use, uh, I think I use, for, uh, I use size 20 or four until 20 or four taper. I don't use O6 taper for MM canal. It's an average of thickness of this danger zone less than one millimeter. Therefore, uh, a little bit risk the, uh, here, MM canal has a risk of uh, slipping perforation. And this is a strategy of MM canal in this case. At first, access cavity, and I did the coronal preflaring with mechanical glide pass file, glide pass file, size 15, or a variable taper file. And after that, uh, I did the patency, A10 technique, I used A10 technique, and after that, measure the working length. And I did the glide pass. It is same file, glide pass file. It is same file, uh, same file. And uh, preparation uh, until the size 2004 taper. And this is a uh, routine feeling. Now I use bioceramic sila and one paste sila.
I injected the biothermic sera from the medio buca root canal on the biothermic sera came out the medio lingual root canal. It is simple, got a simple root canal filling. Biothermic sera and uh, got a bunch of points. This is site 30 or 4 tapa gutta pacha points, and this is site 20 or 4 tapa gutta pacha points. <clears throat> this is single gutta pacha points, single points, feeling obturation, and this is a distal, a distal root canal. I prepared this root canal with uh, until size 25 of six taper. And sometimes I use accessory points, but uh, not condense, not lateral condense. And after Root canal preparation. This is preparation. This root canal is a normal root canal. It's a big root canal and it is not narrow root canal, but media root canal orifice is uh, wide open, but long root canal and curved root canal and entire the root canal is narrow root canal, but it is not, uh, it is normal case, I think. All of the more media root canal is a narrow canal like this. It is not easy to prepare the root canal. And this is after uh, obturation. And this is distal shift. So uh, today I talked about the patency, how to do patency. So uh, take home the message is curved root canal and calcified root canal is always challenging cases. It is not easy case and improve the skill of the patency lead to enhance the quality of the root canal preparation and obturation. And of course, we know good patency, uh, good root canal preparation, and good root canal obturation. Uh, thank you for your attendance to my presentation. And if you have any questions, please send a message to me. And if you have a question about the uh, login file, for example, a RCFA file or login has uh, several file system, not only RCFA file, but also another file system and, and another metal alloy file. If you have a question about the nickel stone file from login dental, please ask the login dental. Login dental uh, kindly answer your questions. Thank you for your attendance and have a good day. And maybe someone is good night, someone, and maybe good day. I, 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 I. Stop share my presentation, it is okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Fiona, are you here? If you have today, I talked about the patency and if you have a dilemma about patency, of the calcified root canal or a curved root canal, uh, please try the patency with ATEM technique, or uh, of course another technique is useful, but uh, these days I use ATEM technique for calcified root canal or curved root canal. And almost of these cases, I can patency and I can, list, uh, I can insert the ISO 8 file or ISO 10K file until the apex. And if I insert the, if I insert the ISO 10K file until the apex without problems, I can prepare 
the root canal with R shape of file. It is no problem and it is simple sequence and yeah. How about irrigation protocol? It is good pro a good question. And uh, irrigation is uh, really important. Now I use uh, at first syringe. I use of course syringe irrigation. I use two comma five percent NaOCl natrium hypochlorite, and I use uh, syringe irrigation. And I use sonic activation. And sometimes uh, before I used ultrasonic activation, ultrasonic chip, but now I use uh, sonic activation. Some, um, yeah, sonic activation. Sonic activation or ultrasonic activation. Laser activation, laser is also useful for the irrigation protocol, but now uh, I don't use the laser. I use uh, sonic activation, login dental, sonic activation device from login dental or uh, Eddie. Do you know Eddie from VDW? I use Eddie or uh, end activator from dental Shirona. Hello, Miss Fiona. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you your uh, this, this webinar, Dr. Ishaki. Uh, okay, thank you for all, thank you for all joining us today in this insights webinar. We hope you found information shared by Dr. Ishaki value, valuable and that is will contribute to our professional growth. Uh, we look forward to see you in our future webinars.